it's good to be with you again. I'm Maggie Lukowski of Maggie Moon Tarot, and here are the astrology and tarot vibes for the week. We start out with love this week. Venus and the Sun conjunct in Gemini. Venus is the Empress's um, planetary ruler in tarot, and Gemini the lovers. There is beauty and abundance um, around us, and the moon is in Cancer, so there's harmony around our domestic affairs, and it can merge into our work. A nice work-life balance can be achieved. And then on mid-Tuesday, a bit of caution, as the Cancer moon is aspecting Uranus and Pluto. So you just never know what these two will dredge up. So keep the conversation light and deep discussion to another day. And on Wednesday through Friday, the moon moves into fabulous Leo. Be good to your inner child and have some fun. There is more than enough of everything good to spread around. So don't be afraid to shine or praise someone else. And then Thursday, Mercury in Taurus is in opposition to Mars in Scorpio. So there can be some stubbornness, sarcasm in the air. That's interesting is always a good thought. And I like the quote from Don Miguel Ruiz. And my um, youngest grandson actually par paraphrases it, but it goes like this. When we try to describe the truth with words, we distort it. And it's no longer the truth. It's our story. The story may be true for us, but that doesn't mean it's true for anyone else. And for the weekend, the moon is in Virgo, so we can take advantage of getting things accomplished. On Sunday, Mercury moves into Gemini. It's home for the next three weeks. There's a gift in uh, conversation, negotiations, and writing. So do take advantage of these good communication vibes as people will be more receptive. And then Sunday afternoon, the moon is void, of course in Virgo, so it's a great time to relax and kick back. And this week I'm reading with a mysterious and curious Cat's Eye Tarot by Deborah M. Given, who is Doctor of Veterinary Medicine, and the deck is published by U.S. Games, Inc. Deborah chose to use brown tabbies for pentacles, the sweet black and whites for cups, the talkative Siamese for swords, and our favorite flashy red tabby for wands. Cats can be our spiritual guides. They're intuitive, mysterious, curious, and pick up on body language, and they're often perceived as psychic. We can learn to read their moods by how they hold their ears, tail, and their behaviors. So they're perfect teachers to guide us with readings and in life. So let's get started to see what messages they have for us this week. And at the beginning of the week, the Page of Cups comes out, and this adorable Black and White Kitten asks us to trust our feelings and be open to seek loving situations and relationships. Um, it fits nicely in with our Venus Sun Gemini vibe. It's about asking for what we want and expressing our preferences. Um, the element is water, so it's about trusting our intuition. And pages are messengers, actually intuitive messengers I'm picking up in this case. So if someone or something does not feel right, it's probably not for us. Cats are especially talented and intuitive around summing up a place, a person, and many people who live with cats clearly understand this and are skeptical if their companion is not warming up to a person or place. And on the converse, you immediately feel at ease when your spotty sense has that um, good vibe around a situation. And this black and white um, message to us is to trust our feelings this week. Um, when we say no thank you to something, we're actually saying yes to something that will be perfect for us. And the smallest feline is a masterpiece. And that quote is by Leonardo da Vinci. And then midweek, the hermit comes out. And his astrological is a Virgo. This cat appears to be an alley cat, but in reality, he is a wise one, the old soul energy that knows his way around. So we may be asked to be that person who can give wisdom or advice or help someone um, see from a different perspective. Or you may be in need of a little help. Seek out that mentor or coach that can help and assist you and support you. So I'm showing you some creative processes and ideas, asking the right questions, so you can be clearer about what you want in your life. And we all have that old soul energy deep inside our secret chamber. And this energy can bring us back to being introspective and detached from the busyness of 
everyday life and see what is important. This hermit also reminds us that we can take a break and enjoy some downtime. And that's when our create, creative juices start to flow. And for us, like cats, it's the nature of cats to do a certain amount of unescorted roaming. And that's by Adlai Stevenson. And then at the end of the week, the Queen of Swords comes out. Her astrological association is Libra with Virgo heavily sprinkled in. An exquisite, exquisite Siamese she is, and she knows it. She's all about clever wit. She's a realist, independent. This queen can get the job done, just like our Virgo moon. So if you're having a tag sale or need to get organized, channel this queen's energy to assist you. Sometimes when you do require this energy, you can just imagine that persona standing beside you or in front of you, and you step into that energy. And all of a sudden, you can feel a shift. You can embody those qualities you're looking for. And this Queen of Swords element is air, and air rules our thoughts. She can be especially helpful when we need to reframe our thoughts. Her message for us this week is we all have great worth, and we can reflect this in the thoughts that we think and um, accept only what is best and for our highest good. Way down deep, we're all motivated by the same urges. Cats just have the courage to live by them. And that's by Jim Davis, creator of Garfield. And that, my friends, are the vibes for the week. Thank you for stopping by, and I invite you to click on the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video and share with your friends. And I've also included a link to the Cat's Eye Tarot, um, published by U.S. Games, which is listed in the About section, and a link to my website, MaggieMoonTarot.com, if you'd like to contact me, schedule a session, or subscribe to my blog, which includes my weekly videos. So until we meet again next week, laugh often, love much, create your own happiness, believe in miracles and magic, be kind, support each other, namaste.